Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's your girl, Abby. And if you are new, thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate you. Today I have another wash day routine where we are going to be trying out a new product called Sotanicals. I'm not sure many of you have heard of it, but Sotanicals, um, I've heard some great things about it where, you know, some of their products has some Ayurvedic um, herbs and powders in it along with aloe vera. So I wanted to try it out. I bought their natural hair travel kit, um, which is a wash day essentials. Basically, if you were traveling, you needed some natural hair stuff with you, you buy this, which I think this is so clever. Like every natural hairline should have something like this. But I bought this because I also wanted to try out the products without buying full size bottles. And this is great because it comes with the shampoo, conditioner, a curl refresher, a leave-in, and a gel as well. So, and I bought this all for, I think it was maybe 20 to $30 along with shipping. It wasn't that expensive to get this whole thing compared to buying, you know, maybe spending 70 bucks to get the whole line. Spent 30 to try this out. And if I end up liking it, you know, we'll buy this whole thing. Um, I just took my hair out of some cornrows. I've been wearing a wig for the past month. And that's how we got this nice little flow happening. So we're going to try this line out and see how it works for me. Um, and maybe we might do a twist out. Twist outs don't work with your girl. So if a twist out don't go, we might do a braid out. I'm not sure yet. But I'm going to show you guys me washing my hair and seeing how my hair loves this product or if it hates it. And then, you know, I can help y'all save some bucks and whatnot. So follow me while we go wash our hair. Okay, so let's get into this wash. So I usually will always start my wash day by first saturating my hair underwater for two to three minutes just to get the hair really manageable um, and just open up the cuticles, especially when I'm washing in one big section like this. It just makes it so much easier to make sure that my hair is really moisturized with the water. Then I go in with the shampoo, which I'm really indifferent to the scent. It didn't stink, but it wasn't also, oh my goodness, like the best um, scent ever. But I just go in and I will wash my scalp first and then go in with the scalp massager um, and just really try to clean out my hair and once I'm done with that I will go in again and wash my hair for a second and third time just because this had been over a month since I had last washed my hair so I really wanted to make sure my hair was really really clean um, before I went ahead and conditioned I usually will only wash my hair, you know, twice and condition and we just got to get a little dance break in there. <laughs> but I usually will only wash my hair twice and then I will condition. But this time I really wanted to make sure my hair was clean, clean. So I went in three times cleaning the scalp and also making sure my hair strands was also clean. I didn't just let the lather um, come down my hair strands and like, oh, that's clean. No. We're going to get deep in there and make sure we're cleaning our hair and our scalp. That is key, guys. After shampooing my hair, I will go ahead and rinse out the shampoo, making sure that the hair is thoroughly clean and all the shampoos washed out before going in with the deep conditioner. Deep conditioner, she was a little thick um, but I love how it just really melted into my hair as you guys can see. I will then go ahead and proceed to split my hair in four sections. We're not using combs yet. I'm just trying to get the deep conditioner to evenly distribute through my hair and then I will twist my hair in the four sections. And then usually after I'm done with this, what I would do is just cover my hair with a cap and leave it on for like 20 to 30 minutes 
And then after that 20 to 30 minutes, I will go ahead and detangle my hair. It's just much easier that way after letting that deep conditioner sit. And then the little that was left over, I just went around the perimeter of my hair because I was just trying to get rid of the little bit that was left over. Hey guys, so I am back. I finally washed the deep conditioner out of my hair. I was supposed to keep it in for like 20 minutes per instructions, but I went and made dinner, started watching some TV, and now three, four hours <laughs> later, I'm just now washing it out of my hair. Overall, I was able to deep conditioner. It is moisturizing. It did what it did after like, you know, the shampoo kind of felt like, you know, it stripped my hair clean. This did put the moisture back in, however, it is not what I would use to detangle my hair. Um, it was really, really difficult detangling where I feel like even my Aussie Moist deep conditioner gives me a lot more slip. It makes it much easier to just melt the knots away. This one didn't really do that for me. So now I am gonna go in with their curl defining leave-in. And I'm also gonna use their super um, hold gel to do a twist out. No, I'm going to do a braid out, a braid twist out and use these parts that I have already as kind of my parts, you know, to do. So we have overall eight. So we're about to do like eight chunky twists so we can get like a chunky, you know, twist out. Why do I keep saying twist out? Braid out. <laughs> All right. So Take this off, put some of the leave in in my hand, like so. Let's say, like a, a quart size or a nickel size, and then it smells good, it smells really good. My hair is fairly detangled. Wow, this one's really good. I love the leave in. The gel is like a consistency. It's a little bit thicker than your um, average um, eco styler. It's a little bit thicker than that. So you don't really need much. Take some into my hands. I'm gonna put it through. Make sure my hair is detangled. And then we're gonna do the braid out. So put my hair into three equal parts. And then start braided. Okay, so I am done. I rated eight sections in total. I just used the parts that I use to wash my hair to do the twist. This part just don't want to lay down. Yeah, I just used the leave-in and the gel to braid the hair. And then once I got to the ends, I did the twist. Um, kind of give me more fuller look at the end when I take it out. I'm gonna now oil my scalp and then I'm gonna be done. I'll probably let this sit for a day and a half or so, probably Monday when I'm going to work. I will take it out right now. It is Sunday morning. It's probably like two o'clock in the morning right now. But yeah, that's when I will take it out. I'm just gonna oil my scalp and my edges and then call it a day. Two days later. Hi guys, so I am back. It has been two days since I put these braid twists and I'm gonna take it out. I am actually very late for work. So we are going to like rush take this out. And I might just fast forward this um, through 
or I just cut it out of the process of me taking it out um, so that you can see how the hair looks as a final. So I use some of my Kalux oil just to put on my fingertips to kind of help reduce frizz and kind of give me some shine as well without really greasing up my hair. And so I would just start by untwisting all the braids and then I'm going to try to separate. I really don't mind the frizz, but I'm going to try to reduce the frizz as much as possible and then pick out the hair and shape it. Um, what I did end up doing was put in some um, gel or edge control on my edges and brushing that down so that I can kind of pin the hair away from my face um, and kind of frame my face a bit, which you will see later on um, after I'm done picking. And this is essentially it. You're just gonna pick and shape until you've gotten the desired look you know, you're looking for. Okay, so this will do on my way to work. I'm going to scarf this down so that it stays slick and dries down. But this is my wash and go. Like this side doesn't really cooperate with me, but this is it. Give it a little shake. A little shake, a little shake. shake. Yeah, so this is the wash and go. Honestly, the leave-in, the Sultanicals Frizz Whiz Curl Defining Leave-In and the Super Hole Gel did a thing because it was able to give me this nice braid out. And honestly, I don't usually have success with this, but it turned out really, really good. Um, I'm really loving it. And this is super defined curls that I could rock this for the rest of the work week. So, you know, loving it yeah this is it um as probably my hair gets older what i would just do is put my hair in a puff but this is it i'm really loving it um the shampoo it was nice it cleansed my hair i could do with the smell i like things that smells nice so if the shampoo smelled a little bit better i think i would be more eager to use it but it cleans the hair like it's supposed to. So it did what it was supposed to do. The conditioner, like I said, it, moisturize, it moisturizes your hair. However, it doesn't give me, it didn't give me the slip that I needed to really detangle my hair. So my hair was moisturized, but that slip was a struggle, you know? And then I already, this to the leave-in and the super hold did this thing with giving me these curls and no i'm loving it i could have used this before i was doing my hair but didn't think of it so i didn't get to really try this one however the four that i did try gave you your girl this so no complaints here <laughs> i loved it um i hope you guys like this sultanicals review overall i would give this brand a thumbs up i really love their products i will probably in the future try more products full size from them but the travel kit it does what it needs to do if you want me to do more reviews leave it down in the comment section below let me know what brand you want me to try so that can be you guys' guinea pig um when it comes to the hair but don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so that you are notified the next time i upload i'll see you guys in the next one bye